Yeah, I'm the G Spot. You're watching New World Videos in the house, live here. I got Cypress Hill cooling in Los Angeles, all the way live. Got my man Sen in here, and we got uh, B Real. Yeah, yeah. All a part of Cypress Hill Posse. They're on Columbia Records. Dope material. So you need to go out and get it. But we're talking to them live. What's up, fellas? You got this album right now. It's called Cypress Hill. It's a debut album on Columbia Records. Yeah. Yeah. Well, tell me, how hard was it putting it together? What was the concept behind it? The whole concept, man, behind this first album is complete raw b-boy madness, man. He went back, like you could say, to the basics, man, to make this first album. And uh, it's Cypress Hill 1, of course. The second album will be called Cypress Hill 2, you know, just to be different from everybody. And uh, on this first album, we just showed a little bit of our rowdy side. A little bit of our, our, our blunted side and just overall fun track like that said he's a born again busy the funky legal. side the funky side word up so it was just a collaboration of, of myself be real's talented on uh grand mix of mugs his talent yeah so mr mugs he was with uh 783 yeah formerly a 783 with ready b and sean b and uh used to be the dj word he was a dj form and they're still coming out they're on mca records now and they're going to be coming out like the first of next year yeah. Is Vic's master Muggs, is he like uh, responsible for most of the beats or do you guys get involved in the music itself or strictly lyrics? No man, Muggs did all the beats, all the tracks, Muggs did them. And uh, you know, that's why I want to say uh, that Muggs is a real talented producer because you're going to hear the whole album and you'll be lucky if you recognize two or three of the samples, you know? Because we were, we're like hell bent on really being original, man. So just to come, you know, come correct and, and be a, a well talked about group. We decided like to not use any samples that's, that's really like really known, you know, from popular groups and stuff like that. So I think uh, Muggs as a producer is really talented and he really hooked us up, you know. And he goes on the road with us too. He DJs for us too. Yeah. In fact, he's from the area. You were telling me that uh, he's a, he was originally part of the Cypress Hill. Yeah, he's an original Cypress Hill member. Yeah, yeah. He he lives like 10 minutes down the way down here. And uh, original members include uh, Mellow Man Ace, Muggs. Uh, me and B-Real, of course. Then I got a whole bunch of other homeboys out here that, you know, they're just from the neighborhood. They don't rap with them. These kids just got jobs and stuff. So we got like a whole bunch of us that form Cypress Hill. It's not just a rap group. Yeah. In fact, your single out now is a funky feel one. Yeah. And then you also have a single called How Could I Just Kill a Man? Yeah, yeah. And Pigs. And Pigs. Yeah. yeah, and you also have one called Latin Lingo. Yeah, Latin like, Lingo. Tell me about Latin lingo. You you've got Latino rhymes in it. Is that yeah. is that essential for you to do something like that, kicking for the Latins or what? Yeah. Well, I tell you, man. At first, we weren't gonna do nothing like that. But um, me and B Real before we went to Philly to mix the album, we we sat down and we wrote this jam called the Funky Bilingual. But after it was all done, we called it Latin lingo. So we was in Philly and they wanted one more song. And it was like, well, so what? You mellow man, brother, what you give us a taste? Could you do it or not? I go, yeah, I could do a little bit. And I busted these lyrics and it was like, yeah, we like that stuff. So at the same time we mixed the album, we laid down the track and did the vocals. And we came out here, we had this song called Latin Lingo. And it's kind of essential for me to do it, yeah, because of the fact that I am Latino, you know, and I live in a Latino community. And uh, there's so many Latin rappers coming out and I want to put my bit out. You know, I am, I, I am talented in that style and I could do that style. And uh, me and Biro, both of us being Hispanic, we form a very good writing duo, you know. So the day Cypress Hill decides to really come in that type of style, that Latino style, I'm gonna have to ask everybody to step to the left, so I'm gonna command attention. Yeah, yeah. And you probably caught them in San Francisco live if you were one of the lucky ones to attend the DNA Lounge where Cypress Hill got off. Yeah. And uh, what was that like, man? How do you like performing in front of a crowd and presenting your music, you know, as how hardcore as it is? Yeah, it's definitely a thrill, man. First, I gotta thank God for giving me the opportunity, man. And second of all, I have to say that the Bay Area, Frisco, and Oakland, all that together, That's man, live. it's a live place, man. They got a real strong support for the hip hop community, the culture, the music, for everything, man. And I say, as long as you got as many brothers as you guys got out there kicking the flavors on the FM band, and oh, AM yeah. as well, you know, hey, man, it's gonna be around for a while. And it was definitely a thrill to see all the people come out basically for a new group to come check us all out. So we make sure we give away a lot of tapes and a lot of t-shirts, a lot of promotional stuff to show our appreciation for all the heads that came out. So it was definitely thrilled being in the Bay Area, rocking the DNA lounge. Yeah. Dope, pretty dope. Rocking it. And if you didn't know, 
by the conversation stand here is brother to Mellow Man Ace. Of course, you remember Mellow Man Ace with Mentirosa. In fact, Mellow is roaming around here somewhere now. Is yeah. they call him around to Pat Opie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, Julio G is around the house too. He also produces Mellow Man Ace. Bullion Tribe. Yeah, he did something for that. And Kid Frost. And Kid awesome. Frost too. Yeah. Yeah. So he's in the house. We may be talking to him later. But uh, I want to thank you guys for uh, you know letting us talk to you here on New World Videos, and uh, I wish you much success. Word up! Thanks a lot, man. And uh, I would recommend everybody out there to get their album. It's dope. It's got a red label, so you can't miss it. <laughs> and uh, Cypress Hill featuring Be Real and Sin. You have any last words, man? Before we get out of here, you hope buy the album. Yeah, <laughs> buy the <laughs> album. Word yeah. up, man! You're definitely gonna enjoy the, the Cypress Hill, the first edition. And it's got 16 chapters on it. When I say chapters, I mean songs. And it's something, you know, you can really jump into. Every track is swingable and danceable. And yo, I thank you, man, for coming all the way down to hook up with Cypress. Oh, it's always a pleasure, man. Thanks, man. man. Thanks a lot for the support, huh? Dude. Oh, yeah. We appreciate oh, yeah. it. Man. Yeah, it's here. It's definitely here. And we're going to kick off the video. Check this. This is the funky feel one, yo. Check this one out.